The Observer system is something everyone will use, no matter what their game type is. It's a powerful but easy feature to work with. Before continuing, you have to know what an Observer is. An Observer is a client which has network visibility of an object. For example, let's say I had two scenes loaded on my network but the player was only in one of them. It wouldn't make sense for the player to see objects in the other scene and that's where the Observer system comes in. Again, it controls which objects clients can see and receive updates on. Observer conditions are used to determine if a client can be an observer of an object. Fish networking comes with several observer conditions and more will be included over time. You can also make your own pretty easily, but that's not something I'll be covering in this video. Here in my project tab, you can see I have distance, scene, and server only condition. The distance condition controls network visibility based on how far an object is from the client. The scene condition will only show objects which are in the same scene as the client, and the server only condition makes the object only visible to the server and the owner of that object. Some conditions can even be configured. If I select the distance condition, you can see that it will show objects that are within 10 units of the client. And having an update frequency of zero means that this condition will be checked quite regularly. You can very easily make different configurations as well. If I right click, go to create, fishnet, observers, and then distance condition, I now have a new distance condition which has the distance as 100 and I could change the update frequency to every 2 seconds if I wanted. The really neat part is that you can use any number of conditions together. Perhaps you want to show only objects in the same scene that are also within 50 units of the player. Just use the distance and the scene condition together. Speaking of which, let's talk about how to use observer conditions. There are two ways to use observers. The first is by adding the observer manager component to your network manager. You'll see a collection for default conditions. These are observer conditions that all network objects will receive. So let's say if I wanted every network object to use a scene condition, which is highly likely, I'll go ahead and add an element and then drop in the scene condition. With that simple operation, now clients can only see objects in the same scene as them. But let's say some reason you wanted certain objects to have different conditions. For example, perhaps there is an object that you want spawned for all players at all times. Maybe it holds information about the game that clients need. With our current setup, that object would receive a scene condition and would only be visible to clients in the same scene as it. This probably isn't ideal. I'm going to show you how to override this behavior. I created a new object in my scene called player. We're going to pretend that this is a networked object that was spawned for the client. Presumably, you would have a lot of other logic scripts here, but to keep it simple, I have only added the network observer script. When this script is added, there are several options on how it can modify conditions. When set to ignore manager, the conditions used will be whatever is present in the observer's condition collection on this object. Since there are no conditions, this object would be visible to all players, and this is something you might do for a global networked object. Other options are add missing, which will add all the manager conditions, as well any additional conditions on this component that are not included in the observer manager. And lastly, use manager, which will replace this object's conditions with the manager conditions. The use manager setting isn't really practical beyond testing. That sums up the observer system. If you're interested in creating your own, we have our support discord in the description, as well additional information within the documentation.